Midnight Persona here, and because I am a crazy person and I am much better talking than I am typing things out, I made. So, there's the Saraha Sarah thing that everyone's been doing lately, and a lot of people have been joining it, and it's been interesting. I kind of stayed away from it because I was like, that seems like an open opportunity to just flame and cyberbully and stuff, and I didn't really like that part of it, but at the same time, one of my friends, uh, Mahime, Anthony, he made one, and he was getting a lot of nice responses and everything, and I got curious because who doesn't like nice responses, and then me and Subaru talked a little bit, and we thought, well, why don't we try? Everybody's been responding on their Facebook, but I thought I'd take it as a little, like, social experiment situation, I guess. And I would respond through video, so because, one, I should probably post more things that aren't just gaming on my YouTube. Two, uh, I, I'm not better at explaining myself in person than I am explaining myself through text, because things always get misscrewed. Misscrewed. Misstrewed? Or, they're wrong. Things just get taken wrong. Let's put it that way. Um, but, um, I thought that it might be a better idea for me to respond this way. And due to me, of course, being the lovely trendsetter that I am, um, my husband jumped on board and everything. So I downloaded the app, and I'm gonna respond to the ones here based off of, um, just basically reading them and, and giving my responses like any other thing and I figured what I might do is every time I get like 10 of them I'd give a response to what they are and I think right now I have I have 12 of them? This should be a really quick video because there's not that many and not really much to say to them um, but anyway let's get started. Uh, the first one that I had gotten it says, I love you, and I know exactly who said that, because I, moments after getting it, I was like, did you send this to me? And they were like, yes. And I was like, I, I love I love you too, but you say that to me anyway, so there's no point. And no, it wasn't my husband. Um, the second one that I had gotten says, I love you so much, I wish that I could explain my feelings to you. I wish that we could be close friends, but I feel like I'm just an annoying sidekick. I feel like a burden, and I feel like I always mess up. So, I have an idea of who that is, but in all honesty, nobody's really a burden to me. Like, I don't really treat anybody like they're a burden. If you want to help and you want to hang out with me, that's fine. Um, if you honestly get on my nerve, I will probably tell you or tell you, hey, calm down. It's starting to irritate me. But a lot of the times, nobody really bothers me unless you, like, stab me in the back, you say something rude, you insult other friends, you insult my husband. Like, that's, it's, it's really hard to get to me. If you want to hang out, let's hang out. I don't really, I'm, I'm pretty open to hanging out. My biggest issue is I'm, I'm broke and I have no transportation. So if you want to pick me up, and if you ask me, hey, we're going to lunch, and I go, mmm, don't really have anything, and you want to buy me lunch, that's cool too. If you don't want to buy me lunch, be like, hey, let's chill out at your house, or hey, let's just chill out at my house. I'll be like, sure, awesome, I'm good. Uh, sometimes I will say no. Normally it's not because I don't want to hang out with you, it's because I have slight anxiety sometimes about hanging out with people. Um, it's mostly been recent, but I'm working through it, so it's more of a don't take it to heart, more so understand that I might be having a bad day and I can't really hang out with anyone right now because my mind and body are like, nope, people are not good today. So don't take it to heart though. Um, third one says, is it KBBQ time yet? I'm hungry. Anytime you want to pick me up and take me to Korean barbecue by all means, I think I've only had Korean barbecue once. So yeah, whenever you're ready, just, just message me. You don't have to anonymously tell me you want food, cause I'm down for, f I'm down for food. Trust me. Uh, I, fourth one. I think I know exactly who posted it, and it says I want to have a threesome with you and your husband. I'm not giving an answer to that one, but I'm not going to justify that with any other answers on video. And that's interesting that that's something you want to do, but I'm pretty sure I know who you are, and if I know exactly who it is, I know exactly why. Anyway. 
The next one says, Kalika, you are wonderful and beautiful and have a beautiful name. You're an incredibly important person and you are and you are loved deeply. I feel like that's my husband, but in the same point, if it's not, I appreciate that. I, I need to hear that every once in a while and it is hard to believe that you yourself are pretty. Like, if other people are saying it, it sounds better, but it's easier to hear other people say, hey, you're, I love you and you're amazing, but it's also easier to not hear it. So when I do hear it, trust me, it does help and I really appreciate it. And it's good to know that. Um, next one. Do you plan on having kids? If so, when? Yes, I do. Me and Ian have discussed multiple times that we want to have babies. Uh, we want to have two kids, possibly. I would be fine with one, but two kids, possibly. I want a boy, he wants a girl. So that's why two kids. M knowing my luck, we'll get two girls, because I don't want girls. But I dealt with girls, and honestly, I've always gotten along with guys a lot better. So in my experience, I grew up with two brothers, so it was like, oh, being with dudes are cool. Not to say dudes aren't troublesome and problematic, but... I have a better experience with guys than I do with females, so I always wanted a little boy, not a little girl. Plus, I want to name him Keith. We've also decided that if it's a girl, her name will be Ash, if or Ash uh, Ashton or Ash uh, for short. Um, if it's a boy, it'll be Keith because I've always had the fa no, not Voltron or anything like that. I've always had a very close knit connection to the name Keith and my mom told me that I had an uncle named Keith but he died and I think like I don't know it's just one of those I have a connection to that name and I really really love that name so I'd love to name a little boy that but when I don't know probably in a year and a half year two years from now I want to make sure we're in a better place than we are now I want to be healthy and I want to make sure that we're not in this run it's not a rundown apartment but it's not the place I'd want to raise a baby if we have a better place like a house or something at least that way I know we're a lot more stable so I would rather have a better place than what we are in now so soon a year two years it just depends on how fast it, it takes to save up for a home because that's basically the biggest rule and we'd sit down and try to have a baby so next one says so like I love you I love you too I mean if you love me I mean if it's not if it's a confession that's not really a confession I guess if you just like me or love me I love you too you don't have to hide next question is this is random, but I'm curious. What's your bra size? Funny enough, I'm not very secretive about my bra size. I really don't care if people know. Um, but last time I checked, I was a 46 triple D or 48 double D. It's like, it's an in-between kind of that. I'm pretty sure the Triple D always fits better, but it's in between those two, because I have not really officially gone for a fitting, but when I buy bras, those are the ones that fit more and look better on me, so I would assume that's it. The next one says, do you get jealous? If I didn't get jealous, I would not be human. Because yes, I get jealous a lot. Um, I try my best not to show it, and I normally am like, pouty and then I move on from it but yeah I get jealous about some friends who are more popular or just people who have more money than I do and it's it's a natural human occurrence so I'm not ashamed to say yeah I get jealous sometimes I normally don't let it get to me very much it's kind of a moment of I'm pouting I'm slightly upset and then I'm done so if you don't get jealous of things every once in a while it's kind of strange anyway so yeah Next it says, I like your cosplays. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that because it, it is uh, hard to keep up the confidence to do cosplays when sometimes you feel like you're just not a good cosplayer. But it's good to hear that too. Just like being told I'm love. Thank you very much. The next one is, the few times we cosplayed together was fun. I hope we can do it again sometime. By all means. Just come talk to me. I like cosplaying with everyone. My biggest thing is, of course, I've got to have the money to get the fabric for it, and I've got to be able to, I've got to like the character and all that stuff, because I feel like I need to have a connection to the character before I put down a cosplay. But, 
by all means, just hit me up and I'd be happy to cosplay with you. But you gotta come talk to me. The next one is... You are so self-centered. Okay, so... This one, I'm not even taking to heart, honestly. Uh, it was the first one that I was like, oh, someone said something kind of mean. But, I mean, I... I don't think I'm self-centered. I think that I have the ability to be self-centered sometimes, but once again, it's a common human emotion. So I think that most people get self-centered sometimes. Like, near my birthday, I'll admit, I get really princessy because I'm like, this is the only time of year I'm allowed to get whatever I want. And I'm allowed to be a little selfish and self-centered and be like, hey, it's my birthday time, you pay attention to me. I don't get like Bridezilla or Zilla birthday-ish, it's just one of those. It's a time of year that I feel like I should get a little more princess and I get a little more attention, but it's the only time of year that I really, really push about it, like at my birthday parties or things like that. Um, I used to say uh, a few years, years, years back when I was younger that if you come to my birthday party without a present, you shouldn't be allowed in because I'm like, hey, it's my time. You, you should appreciate me. But, um... I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't really think I'm super self-centered about anything, or I don't know. I don't know what experience that may have happened to make me come off as self-centered. I know I have the ability to be, so sometimes I do want attention, but a lot of times I'd actually rather stay in the back of the crowd. I want to be popular in cosplay and stuff, but honestly, everybody wants a little bit of popularity and a little bit of cosplay fame with what they do because it's just the acknowledgement that you're doing really well and you're really pretty and that people like you, so if you don't necessarily get a little self-centered every once in a while, you're, you're more robot-like, so everyone has a moment, so I know. I can be, but I don't think I'm super self-centered, but eh, everybody's the opinion. If you want to talk about it and let me know, you know, what thing I did to make myself seem self-centered to you, by all means. I can't really do much about it if I don't know who you are, so. Uh, the next one is, I wish I had your confidence when it comes to wearing certain costumes. The curious question is, which certain costumes? Because I don't wear a lot of costumes that show my body. I know I've worn Jessica Rabbit, which was mostly cleavage, and as you can see, I don't mind showing cleavage. Cleavage is fine to me. I love my boobs. My boobs are probably the best thing on me a lot of the times. This is the part of me that I feel great about. Now, if we were talking about my stomach, I don't show my stomach. I don't like showing my stomach. I showed it maybe twice in a cosplay. One was Bowser, but Bowser is fat, so I was like, I'm cool with Bowser. Bowser's cool. Boobs are fine, stomach isn't, and I don't have a butt to show off. I'm very flat, and I don't even know if I could get it on camera. Like, there is nothing. Nope. You see, there's so lack of nothing that there's nothing that's gonna be on camera. So, confidence wise, it's working, like I'm slowly working on that. I have the confidence to wear Bowser because he's chubby and Bowser doesn't really make me feel lesser if I do it, but I've been building up the courage and the confidence to cosplay Pochoko uh, for Super Sonico for the longest time. And it's so hard because she's wearing nothing but a white bikini. And while I know she's chubby, I don't have the thickness in my hips to really fill out the rest of that costume. And while I know it doesn't matter, cosplay what you want, cosplay freedom and positivity and all that stuff, uh, it still doesn't stop you from feeling self-confident, self-conscious about yourself. So even though promoting 100% cosplay positivity, cosplay what you want, you be you, you love yourself, I agree with that, but it still takes time to grow back up that confidence. Because even with me, I grew up with a father who was very abusive emotionally. So I never felt like I was pretty or loved or anything like that. We had our moments, like we shared the love for Marvel, so he would take me to see Marvel movies, but he's called me a prissy bat, a uh, prissy brat. He's called me multiple different names, said I was self-centered, self I was selfish, said that I, I was a... a a priss for just enjoying things that I enjoyed. So I do have self-confidence issues in that way. And a lot of people do. But I appreciate that you see me as a confident person because I try, but I 
my self confidence levels are super low like I'm at level three and I am trying to work myself to the cat level of a hundred but I will probably level maybe once every three months and it's just and I've just started this game of trying to build the confidence up yes I'm that much of a nerd that I have to make references to video games because that's what I do but that's pretty much all the messages that I've gotten so far with this um, if anybody wants to send more messages, that's cool. This may be the only video. This could be one of many videos to come. I'll probably post in the description uh, my Saraha in case anybody's interested in um, sending me anything, messages or questions or anything that you'd like to know about me. Um, I am an open book most of the time, so there's not too much to ask. But, I mean, I'm sure everybody comes up with questions and things all the time to ask people. Um, outside of that, like I said, uh, I would like to do more of these videos because I'd rather video response to people than just answer on Facebook because I talk better than I text. And sometimes when I text it comes off as a horrible thing because I can be blunt in my text but the, the text doesn't show the bluntness and the the like the emotion that I feel when I'm actually typing it out it more so just makes me look like I'm this horrible person because I'm typing one way in my head and someone reads it of course differently so I'd rather respond to you like this so uh, if there are any more questions you'd like to send like I said go ahead check out the link uh, check me out on other social media I do have a cosplay page I have an art page I have all this extra stuff I sell my art and everything like that so by all means check it out um, and that's about it. So thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end and hopefully I can make more soon. So bye!